In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to prove as the limit of theta goes to zero, cosine of theta minus one divided by theta goes to zero. I'm going to walk you through the long proof. And I'm also going to show you a visual proof too, and then some animation to go with that. So let's imagine I have a circle, and I'll draw in a radius. Now I'm going to sweep out a angle and I'm going to call that angle theta. Now I'm going to make a triangle and recall that cosine theta is equal to the adjacent side, the green side, divided by the hypotenuse, which is the blue side. Now if I take that theta and I take the limit of theta and let it approach zero or get very, very small, then what happens to the ratio of the adjacent and hypotenuse sides. Going back to the original equation, the cosine theta is going to be 1. Let me show you what I mean exactly. So I'm going to put the circle back in, and I'm going to make that triangle again, and sweep out an angle called theta. The hypotenuse is blue, the adjacent side is green, and the angle is theta. So now I have cosine is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse side. And the question becomes, what happens as theta goes to zero? So as theta becomes small, smaller and smaller and smaller like that, what we'll see is what you'll see is that this ratio approaches one. Cosine theta in the top equation is the same as this equation here, just to be clear. And as theta gets smaller and smaller and gets closer and closer to zero, notice the length of the hypotenuse and the adjacent sides become the same or equal. So the ratio is one. So I take that one and I move it up. So I have one minus one divided by theta. It doesn't really matter what the theta is or the denominator in this case it's going to approach zero. Now let me show you the long proof of this as well. So I'll start over. So cosine theta minus one divided by theta is equal to cosine theta minus one divided by theta times cosine theta plus one divided by cosine theta plus one. This ratio I just put in is equal to one. So I'm multiplying this equation times one, basically. Now you're probably wondering, why do I do that? How do I know to do that? And the answer is you won't know until you see the proof and work with these proofs several times. So this is equal to cosine theta minus one times cosine theta plus one divided by theta times cosine theta plus one. So now I take cosine theta times cosine theta, and that's equal to cosine squared theta. Then cosine theta times plus one, which is equal to cosine theta. Then I take negative one times cosine theta, which is equal to negative cosine theta. And now I take negative one times one, which is negative one. Now I take this whole thing and divide by theta times cosine theta plus one, like that. Positive cosine theta and negative cosine theta cancel out. This is going to be equal to cosine squared theta minus one. I'm just pulling that straight down. Divided by theta times cosine theta plus one like that. I'm going to make a substitution. I'm going to take sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. I know that. I'm going to subtract negative 1 from both sides of the equation. So now I have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta minus 1 is equal to 0. Again, how are you going to know to do this substitution? You're probably not until you see the proof a couple times and get comfortable with these trig identities. So notice now I have cosine squared theta minus one and cosine squared theta minus one there. 
If I subtract sine squared theta from both sides of the equation, I'm left with cosine squared theta minus 1, and this is equal to negative sine squared theta. And I'll put that in up in the top equation. So I'll take that negative sine squared theta and move that up. And all this is divided by theta times cosine theta plus 1. This is equal to negative 1 times sine theta times sine theta divided by theta times cosine theta plus 1. So now I have negative 1 times the limit of theta as it goes to 0. So I have sine theta divided by theta. Times the limit as theta goes to 0 of the second part of the equation, or sine theta divided by cosine theta plus 1. So I just separated that equation out into two fractions. This first part of the equation goes to 1, and I have a proof and a link, and you can see the link below. I have a little animation on that. That's not a difficult one, but I encourage you to watch it. If you plug into your calculator sine 0, it's going to go to 0, be the value you get. So I have 0 divided by... Now, if you put cosine 0 into your calculator, it's going to be 1. So this goes to 1 plus 1. And 0 divided by 1 plus 1 is equal to... It's equal to 0. And there you have it. That's the visual proof and the long proof. As always, share the knowledge, share the love. Facebook, Google+, Twitter. Links and questions and comments below. Like the video, please. And please subscribe to Trig Fun. I'm going to be posting a lot of Trig stuff. So good luck.